The Climate Change Art and Action Exhibit consisted of more than 75 works by 15 renowned artists who are concerned how global warming is dramatically changing our environment. It was sponsored by Honoring the Future, a group that works to get the public involved in climate change issues. These intricate paper cuttings highlight the beauty and fragility of coral reefs and glaciers. Painter Diane Burko portrays the shrinking sea of ice of the Beaufort Sea in the Arctic Ocean. Visitor Walter Vinci says it sends an important message. The far-reaching effects of what we do as a species and how it's affecting everything else, it's going to be a domino effect if we're not careful. These luminescent glass pieces by Tuchzinski consist of individual pieces of glass thread. Here, in her studio in Providence, she is crafting a series on endangered birds. Grew up in an incredibly beautiful natural um, surrounding, and there were just myriads of birds, and of every possible kind in the Northeast. And they started dwindling. Zinsky's creations begin with a unique machine she helped design that produced the thread she uses to form bird feathers on her pieces. In bird wings, a lot of the color variations do happen because of an almost thread-like crossing of different layers. These striking photos at the exhibit illustrate birds that are threatened by climate change. And Dudley Edmondson has traveled all over the country to take pictures of birds that in their habitat which is changing and so therefore they are struggling to survive. Vinci is fascinated by artist Nancy Cohen's vision of an urban waterway. It's super fragile and I think that that's kind of you know, representative of this whole climate change exhibit is that just how fragile everything actually is. Pennell hopes the exhibit makes people realize they can make a difference in combating climate change. Sometimes we feel as individuals that we don't have a say. That's not the case and that you can do things individually and collectively. Deborah Block, VOA News, Providence, Rhode Island.